What's up, guys? Welcome to what is already a left turn from the video that I was filming just moments before. I had an idea that didn't really pan out. I wanted to use the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm Palette. Look at how gorgeous that is, which by the way, Whose idea was it not to tell me this has been out? You know me, you know I love gem tones, you know I love textured shadows. This is like a dream palette and no one told me about it. So I recently bought this along with some of her, what are they called? These hot, actually all of the shades of the skin gloss, which I'm wearing this shade today, Golden Dew. But I was majorly inspired by this color palette, naturally, and so I had an idea where I would start off with one look, something simple, basic, maybe even neutral if I could get there from this palette with these up here, and I kinda did, and then build on from there, like increasingly more dramatic and complex, but still very nice and lovely looking makeup looks, you know? It was a disaster. Okay, this is just a disaster. At least it felt like a disaster, and so we bailed out on that. Instead, I was between two other ideas, continuing on with my Inspired by Netflix series and do a look inspired by the movie Wish Upon a Star. Yes, Katherine Heigl's frosty 90s eyes and lips, but I haven't actually rewatched that video yet recently, so we're going with plan C, and that is <laughs> to do an Instagram filter inspired look. The one with the glitter. There is a filter that popped up very recently when I was on stories, not technically on stories, but creating a story, asking you guys if you had questions for an upcoming Q&A video, which by the way, still totally open, haven't filmed it yet, leave your questions down in the comments below. But as I was flipping through those filters, the one that caught my eye happens to be very similar to this gorgeous purple in this palette. So I figured, why not try and recreate it? Because all of our other ideas have failed today and it's been a while since I made a video because I've been in kind of a creative rut. And whenever that happens, the longer I go without making one, the worse and worse it feels. And I feel like the next video I make isn't that great. So we're just gonna rip that bandaid off right here today. Anywho, longest video intro ever. Let's go ahead and dive in. So first, I'm going to prime my eyes. This is Max Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. And I'm just using my finger to apply that all over the lid. I do, by the way, I do still have mascara on. I didn't want to remove a full face of makeup just to only redo the eyes. So I used my face halo to remove the last failed look. <laughs> and that's why it might look like I'm wearing a little bit of makeup already because I am. Now I'm just gonna dive right into that purple shade. So it is called Astrid Lust, this beautiful matte grapey purple. Very bright, very grapey using the shade shade brush, Isum G27, because I wanted to find something that was good for packing cup. Wow, you can tell I did I did not apply that primer with a mirror. Whoopsie daisy. Anywho, wanted to look for a brush that could do a combo of packing and blending because I want to build the pigment, but I also want to make sure I'm not having any harsh lines. So to kind of do both for now until I reach for another brush, uh, that's, that's why I grabbed this guy. And the shape here, is unlike a, a shape I've ever done or would think to do with my eyeshadow. For whatever reason, I just never, it's almost like a dramatic cat wing or kind of like they took the normal like lid shape and moved the highest point like over here, if that makes sense. So this, this is the general shape I'm starting with and it goes pretty high. And because the lash line's pretty smoked out in this look, I am just going to take the edge of that same brush, which has a slight taper to it and smudge that same shade along the entirety of the lower lash line. Well, almost all of it, kind of easing off once I get into basically where my, my tear duct is there. As I think about the steps in this look and how I really, really wanna to try to only use the shadows in this palette, this might be a very fast look. <laughs> okay, now I want to blend. I'm just gonna start blending those edges. This is a Morphe M433, and I'm just gonna start blending. Like I said, I, I don't really want to use any other shadows, even though there is a very frosty brow going on in this look. Um, I don't, I don't want to use any other kinds of blending colors and there isn't a frosty shade in this palette. There's just a lot of glittery multi-chromatic shades in here. So we'll, we'll just have to see how this goes. Okay. I'm caving already, but technically the powder that I want to use is not an eyeshadow. It's a face powder. This is from the Halo Beauty Galactic, not Halo Beauty, uh, Flower Beauty um, Galactic Glow Holographic Palette. 
And the shade that I wanna use is this one right here, which has kind of a bluey purple tinge to it. Oh yeah. Oh yes, yes, yes. That's the trick. Then I'm also just gonna put a dab of that in my inner corner. And then I'm just going back in and building that pigment up. Back, the purple pigment, back. You can, you, you see this. Okay, now this next part, very excited about. Time to start building the glitter. And I'm actually gonna use two different glittery shades in this uh, palette. First is this Electric Amethyst, which is this purpley blue duochrome that I'm going to use with a dampened brush, just using some setting spray, a lot of it that I have lying around. And now I'm just going to start layering that over the purple I've already applied. And this is what I think is gonna give it the multi-dimensional look that it has in uh, in the actual filter. Ooh, yes, that just turned it into such a pretty deep blue tinged purple, love it. Now for the last step, as far as shadows go, let's do the glitter. So I'm loving this eternal light because the glitters are very sparkly. This one right here is when you apply it, it comes off less champagne-y and more like straight up glitter. Unlike these shades down here, which have a definite glitter to them, but they have a more colorful base. Uh, eternal light is, is pretty much just glitter. And for that, I actually am just gonna wet my finger and see how this goes. Oh, well, it turns out it is more of a metallic base when you wet it. So that was the wrong move. Just gonna layer a little bit of purple back over that to bring the pigment back. Okay, so that brought the pigment back and actually made it a little bit more glittery. Uh, let me do that to the other eye and then we're gonna try um, plan, what are we on? D, E, I don't know. All right, back with the plan. I'm gonna use one of Stila's Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows, the actual glittery kind, not the like metallic kind. This is Diamond Dust. It's a mini one, so I'm hoping there is a full size one, but honestly, there is not a bad shade in this entire line. It's one of my favorite glitters to use. Like they're super easy to use, they're totally mess free, and they just have a really pretty variety of uh, shades and shapes and things like that in there. So using this one and I'm just going to start. <gasps> yes, this was right. This is what we needed all along. So because I don't wanna do what I had just done earlier and get too opaque with it, cause you can see it gets, it builds to be pretty silvery pretty fast. I am just dab putting a dab, just a teensy dab on my lid and then using my finger to blend it out. Then I also just wanna do a little bit of cleanup under the eye using my NARS uh, Complete Coverage Matte Concealer. I think that's what it's called. It's a really long name, so I never remember, but it's like, that's a rough approximation of what it is called. Mine is in the shade Medium One, by the way. Yes, medium one custard. Okay, last are the lips, and it's kind of hard, I think, to tell exactly what color the lips are. They're clearly very glossy, but it also seems like they have a hint of tint. So, I got a couple of options. First, I am going to start by, oh, well, not with that, I'm not. But, I once I sharpen this, I'm going to line and fill slightly in my lips with the shade Turn On in the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil Formula. That might be a little too pink, but we'll see. So I think I'm gonna take a little bit of the um, pigment of this. It's a little bit too pink. So I'm gonna mute it a little bit with the shade Untold Stories from the, oh, that has product on it from the last disaster. But I'm just gonna take this shade. It's like a soft pinky sort of nude. I'm just gonna use a little bit of that. All right, now we're ready for a gloss. So these Moisture Boost Lip Shines from Viseart are some of the glossiest things I have period. And so I'm first going to go in with the shade Fleur, hoping that's not too deep. We'll see. Oh, it's adding a little bit of a gray tint to everything though. It's a little too deep. It's a little too deep, but it's shiny. It's, it's good, but it's shiny. Okay. Accuracy. I got to get it right. <laughs> this time around, I'm using the shade Petal or Petal. I don't know, but it's basically clear. It has a slight pink tinge to it in the container, but once it shears out, it is entirely clear. And that was the color I should have gone with the whole time. Okay, so now I think the ultimate test is to actually see how much I change without the filter versus with the filter for an idea of accuracy. You know what I mean? So let's just go ahead and, you know, it could be more purple. I will say that it could be more purple. I can't animate the glitter on my eyes, but I think if I worked some lighting magic, maybe it would shimmer and sparkle like that. And the lips, oh, it is, it is like there is a layer of plastic over my lips and I can't beat that. I love the way it looks, 
but my lips are definitely not as shiny as the uh, as the filter. They're so great. But I don't know. I think it's close enough and it's a look I really like. Overall, I have to say I really like this look. I learned a little bit. Well, I learned a lot from this whole day, really. But uh, I think my main takeaway is that I love this eye shape. I have not done this eye shape if ever in a long time if ever because normally I do like my the highest point is right above my pupil but this is so flattering I really I really really like that and I think that's something I'm going to take away from this even if I don't wear my disco purple look all day every day that is an eye shape I will take with me so hope you guys enjoy this journey with me let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video guys bye